Hello there, how are you doing? And welcome to today's video. Okay, so those of you who watch my channel religiously will know that I've currently been rereading the Harry Potter books. And while that means there's going to be a lot of Harry Potter theories, and maybe even some Fantastic Beasts theories coming soon, this also means that lots of questions like What Hogwarts house are you in? What's your Patronus? What does your wand look like? What Ilvermorny house are you in? I don't know if I pronounced that right. However, despite the fact I've answered some of these questions in previous videos, I thought it'd be fun just to make a video where I went on the Pottermore website and did the quizzes for you live. So yeah, that's what this video is. So first of all, I'm just gonna do the Hogwarts house. So yeah, let's be sorted into my house. Okay, uh, begin the experience. <gasps> okay, moon or stars? I don't know, um, stars. I'm gonna go stars. I, I don't know, they're more sparkly. If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? The owl's probably the most useful because they can send letters, so yeah. I, so I'm gonna go for the screech owl because I don't know what it is. It sounds cool. If you could have any power, which would you choose? The power to change your appearance at will. Actually, that one's pretty cool. I'm gonna go for that one. Four goblets are placed before you. Which would you choose to drink? The foaming, frothing, silvery liquid that sparkles as though containing ground diamonds. The smooth, thick, richly purple drink that gives off a delicious smell of chocolate and plum. Plums, definitely that one. The mysterious black, yep, I'm just gonna go for the plum one. That just sounds delicious. Let's go. What nightmare would frighten you most? Standing on top of something very high and suddenly realizing that there was no hand or footholds nor any barrier to stop you falling. Okay, that does sound frightening. Oh my god. Left or right? Well, I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna go right. Hufflepuff. Well, the video can only get better from here, so um, next we're gonna go discover my Patronus. Better with headphones. Oh god, okay. Oh, oh, I wasn't ready for this. Relax, think of your happiest memory. Okay. Seek, protect, serve. Um, protect. Blood bone. Bone. Blood scares me. Think, feel, sense. Um, um, uh, think, 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 think. I'm thinking! <laughs> together or alone? Definitely together. Who would pick alone? Comment down below if you'd pick alone, like seriously. This is astonishing, you've almost done it. Mind, heart, spirit. Mind. What's my Patronus going to be? Click and drag to release your Patronus. I expecto Patronum! A red squirrel. I hate squirrels. Who got my up reference there? But yeah, seriously, would a squirrel even scare a Dementor off? Like, that is probably the worst Patronus. Good thing I'd probably never be able to conjure it, because let's be real, I'm a Hufflepuff. Okay, so next we're gonna go find my wand. I really don't know how this could get worse, but can a wand really be bad? I guess we'll find out. To ensure we find the perfect wand for you, it's very important that you answer the following questions honestly. First of all, would you describe yourself as average height? I'm just small. I'm small. And your eyes? What do you guys think? I'm gonna go brown. Um, if you disagree with me, I look in the mirror and see myself every day, so I think I'm right. The day you were born was an even number, yes it was. Do you most pride yourself on imagination? 100%. Travelling alone down a deserted road, you reach a crossroads. Do you continue left towards the sea, ahead towards the forest, right towards the castle? I'm gonna go towards the castle because there might be people there that can help me. And if there aren't, it's abandoned and then I've got a big house to stay in tonight. In a chest of magical artefacts, would you choose ornate mirror, dusty bottle, golden key, Silver dagger, bound scroll, glittering jewel, black glove. I'm gonna go for the jewel because I could probably sell it and then I feel like I achieved something with my day. So I got spruce wood with a dragon heartstring core, nine and three quarter inches and surprisingly swishy flexibility. I don't know if that's good or bad. It's kind of a short wand, but it's also flexible. So I don't know, is that good? I, I... And last but not least, we are going to find out my Ilvermorny house. If I get Pukawaji, I'm done. Like seriously, that house was made by a muggle. Would you rather hunt or heal? Heal. Where would you least like to find yourself? Trapped in the attic as the house burns below you. Oh my god, that's scary. Lost in the forest at night, eyes staring at you through the dark. Nah, it's the fire. The fire. 100% the fire. When will I learn to keep my mouth shut? <laughs> Good question. I'm picking that one. That's great. <laughs> I am strongest when I know I'm right. I am very strong when I know I'm right. With my comrades. <laughs> it says comrades. Enthusiastic. You can rescue a baby, or the only bottle of a potion that could save a thousand lives. Which do you save? I'm gonna save the baby, because the bottle only might save a thousand lives, you know? I got Pukwaji. I got Pukwaji. That house was founded by a muggle! And I got sorted into that house. 
You know what, you know what, you know what? This video was a tutorial on how to get the worst things in the Pottermore quizzes. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, leave a like, and maybe even subscribe by clicking here, or watch another video to do with Harry Potter by clicking here. And if you ever want to see another video of me doing quizzes again, please comment it down below, because I'd love to know if you enjoyed this video or not, and I will see you guys next time! And oh my god, I'm running out of breath. This was the worst thing I've ever done in my life.